Today, this evil little man ate the entire armpit out of a shirt at night while we were sleeping. Like the armpit is completely gone, missing, like a hole the size of my face basically out of a shirt. I was so pissed off at him this morning, like absolutely pissed off. And then like after that, I uploaded a vlog and I was like, yeah, okay, this is a nice vlog. It's great. Everything's great. What a great start to my morning. I woke up early. I got the vlog finished, blah, 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 uploaded great. And then I see like the first comment on it. It's like, oh, I would have loved to uh, find out how those gyoza turned out but it ends abruptly and I was like, what, what does she mean it ends abruptly? And I go check out the video and like for some reason it uploaded weird and it cut off like randomly in the video and it just, the video just ends. And I was like, what the heck? So I go and check the footage. <laughs> I go and check the like original file of the video and it says it's the maximum length, but then I go and I like open the video and it can't play through the whole video, even though it says it's like the correct timing, like the video length is the correct length that it's supposed to be, but it can't get past a certain part. So it was like an error with the export. So I had to re-export the video, which went into my stream time. And then like, I thought about streaming after and I was like, I am like, this put me in such a sour, like bitter mood that like this combined with my anger at my cat in the morning was not going to equal like a happy stream. So I had to cancel stream today. Otherwise, aside from that, my day has just been super chill. We went grocery shopping. We did a huge grocery haul because it was one of those, it was one of those grocery hauls. Sorry for my greasy hair too. I have to shower. Um, it was one of those grocery hauls where, you know, you have to get more than you usually have to get because you ran out of like random items like ketchup and like all the toilet paper and all the paper towel. So this is a big grocery haul today, but I... I feel guilty, but also uh, happy because I binge ate a bunch of carbonara pasta, which I haven't done in a while, and I was having like mad cravings for it, <laughs> and I also am eating this pudding. It's this Jello brand chocolate pudding that you can make yourself. All you have to do is add the powder into two cups of milk, so that's what I did, and <laughs> this is just what I'm eating. It's so bad for you, but I'm just having like one of those bitter days. Anyway, that's just what my day has been like. Not much to vlog because it's like a cold wind today like it feels only like 13 degrees outside which is crazy cold compared to what it has been which was like 29 32 degrees celsius so for it to feel like 14 13 feels like a dramatic change in temperature which to be honest it is that's almost like almost a 20 degree drop in temperature so I haven't really been going out today I didn't want to go out on the balcony so it's just been kind of like a lazy day inside we watched a movie called Ophelia which was like it would be good if you're in the mood for that kind of movie but anyway the reason why my hair is so greasy and looking super bad is because I need to color it being out on the balcony and then the sun has really made like like it's bleached out my hair. So you can see my hair is bleached from here down. And I had it this color toned down with a light brown shade so that it doesn't look so like blonde and like a drastic difference between my natural color up here. But the problem is like it looks cheap because it's literally just like this block of like suddenly my hair changes color like from brown to blonde and I'm having a little bit of a predicament because I <laughs> like now that I don't have highlights like actively have highlights in my hair it's like aggressively visible how many gray hairs I honestly have and it's kind of embarrassing because they're all like at the part of my hair and just kind of stem down like they're actually all throughout my head but it's just like it's I don't know it's just kind of upsetting like, I am, I guess I am old enough to start having gray hairs, but it's, like, I can't really hide them. Like, I can't be a brunette, like, my natural hair color without them showing now, because there's that many of them. Like, there's not a lot. Like, I'm, I'm, like, people probably think I'm being dramatic. 
but like it's just difficult having brunette hair and having gray hairs coming through so I don't know what to do I'm kind of indecisive if I should because I, I don't really want to dye much of my natural hair anymore because over the years my hair has really thinned out a lot and the strands themselves have become really thin and delicate and my hair can't really handle the same amount of coloring that it used to a few years ago like it just doesn't it can't handle it like any kind of bleaching or dyeing that I put on it really like damages my hair instantly so I'm kind of at a loss because I also like having my hair less blonde so I'm thinking I'm like these are these are my decisions either I put like baby highlights around the top part of my head so that it blends the gray hairs or I just dye my whole head brown but then that covers the my natural color up which I don't really want to do like I like my natural color it's like a mousy light brown you know wow my hair has gotten so thin though I really think I need to go to a doctor and ask why my hair has gotten so thin because it's like thin in places where I don't wear my extensions either like it's gotten super super thin over the years and it's gotten like significantly worse in the past I want to say three years but yeah you can see there's a these are where my gray hairs are like I have a patch of gray hairs right in the middle right there but yeah Anyway, I'm not going to keep boring you guys with me complaining about my hair. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with it because I'm just, I just don't want to do the highlights. I'm so lazy. And then I, but then I don't want to pay. You, yeah, you can really see my gray hairs. <laughs> when you play too much with the laser oh my god you're puffing that's another shirt ruined like what the hell green juice is what is it a lot of stuff quinoa tofu a little bit of protein powder some yogurt like four tablespoons half a banana uh, some frozen spinach a half a cucumber four stalks of celery what else is in there oh my gosh I think maybe that's it oh and almond milk almond milk vanilla almond milk in there too I haven't had a green smoothie in forever I used to drink them almost every single day when I lived at home with my parents but then when I moved out I didn't bring my blender so it's been two years since I've last had a green smoothie made at home Hello friends, so I have come to this park today. My boyfriend and I actually found it maybe like a week ago, like last week, and it's perfect for like outdoor fitness, running and stuff like that. So <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to try to do this multiple times a week where I come to this track and do laps because I used to run so much like a year and a half to two years ago not only when I was living in Japan and Australia but also when I was back home living with my family I would go and do laps around my hometown but ever since I moved to the city I haven't really been doing much running simply because I hate running on treadmills and I hate running in busy cities and those were the only options that I knew of when I moved here but finding this track it's like not busy at all and it's totally worth the commute to me so I'm going to try to do it more regularly because isolation has made my stomach so soft and honestly my stomach hasn't been in this condition for years it's kind of embarrassing so that's what I am doing here today. So I am home now from our little workout that we did at the park. I feel great being able to run. It's been so long but anyways I am home now making some more homemade dumplings. I changed up the style of doing it just a little bit compared to the last video that I shared. This way that I'm doing it I've cut 
the dough into like small cubes and then each cube rolls out into like a dumpling wrapper. This way I found so much easier to get the thickness of the wrapper more similar to that of what it should be compared to the previous way that I was doing and then just using this little muddler to roll out each individual one. So I found these mochi balls, which is the Lotte brand, which is Korean. If you're not familiar, Lotte is a Korean brand. So mochi ice cream balls, uh, no frills. Super excited about them because I haven't had mochi in forever, especially anything Lotte Korean brand. So good, my boyfriend has been addicted to them. He's probably eaten most of them so far. I'll give you one now. I'm gonna have one now. They're so nice little ice cream pops. They are so yummy. Oh, cold. He was just zooming like a mile a minute and now he's passing out in the middle of the floor. usual bubble tea stop and then I want to stop by winners because we need a new knife set because we had ceramic knives for a while but they all started chipping which isn't safe at all so I want to go see if we can get a new pair of knives we're at the winners now and it's, it's pretty cleared out I guess because everyone's at home everyone's doing like changes to their apartment and stuff so the selection is really sparse. I've actually never seen it this empty here. So I don't think we'll be getting knives today. <laughs> hey guys, so I just came for my second run which is always interesting. I feel like if you don't run for a long time, like if you take a long hiatus from running and then you go to start it up again, the first run back is always like, oh, it's not that hard. But then it's the second time you try to go for a run where you struggle so much. So basically I was only able to do two kilometers before feeling like I was gonna throw up. So that's enough for me today. I'm gonna walk back home. And I think like that should total out to about 6K, which is plenty. But I definitely want to take it slow because I'm so prone to getting sick when I start running again after not running for a long time. It's like something that pretty much always happens to me and I was telling my viewers on the stream that I want to be careful with that and not let that happen because it would be such a stupid time for me to push myself so hard to the point where I get sick. Especially amongst the pandemic. <laughs> So I think that's enough for me today and then I'll skip two days again and then come back and kind of build it up slowly. See ya!
don't know if any of you guys would remember from last year's vlogs in Toronto, but I'm currently in the distillery district. <laughs> It's always so weird. Whenever I pass here, I always remember the Christmas market when I was here with Liz and we got on TV when I first moved here. That was so fun. I actually have not explored the distillery district as much as I would have liked to. And it's unfortunate because like right before lockdown happens, I like realized there's a lot of good restaurants in there for like patio season and stuff like that. And now you can't do anything. Like it's still open but you can't really do anything there. Can I get your egg square without the sesame seeds? This one? No, thank you. Hey guys, so we just went to the St. Lawrence Market because I wanted to pick up some fresh stuff so I can use fresh stuff to make fresh food. So specifically I wanted salmon and I wanted sushi grade salmon because I've been missing eating a sushi grade fish on my own at home. The only other time I was ever able to do that was when I was living in Japan. You could buy a sushi grade quality fish at the grocery stores. So I would often put it in my salads. Uh, so I figured tonight I would do that and I headed to the St. Lawrence Market and grabbed a fresh salmon filet, Atlantic salmon filet that's sushi grade quality so I can make us a little homemade poke bowl. Uh, so I've never done that before and I'm not gonna look up a recipe. I'm just gonna wing it. So I got my salmon. And I'm going to make a little bit of rice and then I have some lettuce, some kimchi, I got some broccolini, I got cucumber. I don't have any edamame or anything like that, but I don't, I'm not really one who wants like a massive variety of ingredients in my poke bowl. And I also have rice seasoning as well and seaweed. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it. And I'm thinking for the sauce I might use my sesame uh, soba noodle dip sauce and meat dip sauce, that's a Japanese brand. It's just like a sesame dip with a little bit of soy sauce and that's like generally what I would get on my poke bowls when I order them minus like the additional things like shredded crab meat and stuff like that so yeah that's what's gonna be for dinner tonight here is my salmon it looks good doesn't it so I'm gonna cut off half of it for our pocket bowl and then save the rest for cooking because I don't think we can both eat that much salmon. Well, maybe we could, but like that would be gluttonous of us. So I'm going to just use half today. This is the sesame dipping sauce I'm talking about. Like they show like meat and stuff, the goma shabu. It's so good. So I'm going to add a little bit of that with a little bit of soy sauce. Yeah. And that's half the salmon filet cut up into cubes. It smells so good. Wow, it's really good. Just a nice little healthy dinner. Welcome to another beautiful day in Toronto. So I have more or less just been doing a lot of live streaming lately, which is going to be really, really well. A lot of new people have been joining our little community that we have going on, and it's been really exciting to have you guys join us. So if you guys aren't already aware, I do live stream every single day in the morning on Twitch, Mondays through Fridays. Uh, so if you haven't checked that out already, definitely check it out because we do talk about different things and have a lot of fun on there. So if you want more content, when I'm not uploading videos, you can find me there. But it was really interesting today because I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with iJustine. 
Uh, she's a pretty long-term like internet celebrity, but she followed me on Twitch today, which was really interesting because I felt bad. I thought it was like a fake because you know how a lot of people will steal other people's usernames. Uh, but yeah, apparently it wasn't a fake. It was the real deal. So it's really interesting to see that someone so famous considered following me and liked my content and wanted to join my little community. So that was a little interesting thing that happened today. It would be cool if we saw her in chat sometime, but I probably doubt that would happen. But other than that, it's a beautiful summer day. I'm in my new Princess Polly dress that I got. If I haven't already uploaded my try on haul video, then um, stay tuned to that on my beauty channel. That's going to be coming out soon. It's me doing a $600 USD Princess Polly clothing haul, which is really exciting. Other than that, um, if I have already uploaded it, I'll have it linked in the cards above and in the description box of this video. But don't worry about it. Oh. So, based on that narrative, we're going to be working from home for sure until September. Which again, we, we assume, but no, don't bite. Oh my god. See, it looks like he's on a fucking ladder. He likes to climb the inside of the couch. Yeah, and then in the room, just so good. Oh no. Oh, so okay. good. I can understand. You <laughs> can understand oh, I can how think. appealing it is. Come here. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you blowing on him? No, I'm nibbling the string. I can understand. <laughs> I under I know what it's like. I need to do a Chloe Ting workout, but I'm so comfy just leisuring on the couch that I don't want to. But when I think about it, I've literally been sitting all day from like morning till right now. Like wake up, get ready, stream, stream for a few hours, and stream, edit videos, make food continue editing videos then while well, video edits I'm laying here so it's like oh, it's already 6 30 mm, but I want to lose the fat I've gained I've gained like a lot of fat like my weight stayed pretty consistent but like what used to be muscles converted into fat so I really need to work hard on getting fit because with this lockdown which is still ongoing in Toronto three months later um, like there's no gyms and the only ways to be physically active are going outside for like physical activity, which I'm starting to do. I'm starting to do the runs, which has been really enjoyable, but it's definitely really hard on my body starting into something like that. And I don't want to get sick. I can't remember if I said this on stream or on vlog, but for me, whenever I pick up a new physical activity, specifically more so with running, I'm more prone to get sick. And it's because when you start doing running, it, if you push yourself too hard, it can compromise your immune system. Um, which happens to me super easily. So I'm trying to take it easy and be really really slow in the beginning and just kind of Be really mindful of how I'm feeling and know not to run Either not to run as much or not to run that day at all if I feel like I might be pushing myself too hard And I did two days in a row which I didn't intend to do. I planned to do one day take a day off uh, but last night my boyfriend wanted to go for a run with me and I was like, oh, he's never wanted to go for a run with me So I was like, okay, um so we did that and it was really hard. I struggled really, really hard. I, like I couldn't even do 3K without struggling. Plus I'm a morning runner. Like if I have like a full day and then I run in the evening, it's usually my worst run ever because I just struggle. I'm more so a morning runner on an empty stomach than like someone who's been eating all day and drinking all day. <laughs> so I don't want to push myself, but like a Chloe Ting workout, like they have, they go by so fast and it's easy to like just stop. Well, when you're running, I feel like there's more pressure to get it done, so I'll probably do it. The one Chloe Ting workout that I've been really enjoying is her. It's like one of the hit ones, and I think I think the title of the video is Do This Do This Workout Every Day for Two Weeks and You'll Lose Weight. Like anyway, that's what the video title is or what it claims to do, and I love that one. It's like a hit workout, and I always get super, super sweaty, and it's only like 10, 12 minutes long. I get crazy sweaty and it, it works really good. Mind you, I did do it for two weeks straight and I didn't lose weight, so. <laughs> um, but I'm sure for me, because I don't really have that much weight to lose anyway, it's probably more so a matter of not losing weight, but just 
trimming the fat. So that's kind of what I need to do. So I'll probably do that today. Also, this sunbeam on my face is unintentional. It just so happens I decided to vlog while laying here. I've been laying in the same spot for the past 30 minutes. So I think I'm going to do that Chloe Ting workout. Um, and there's an Uber Eats promo on right now for Father's Day. Where it's like 50% off. Okay, it's time to work out! Workout is done! Now that was 12 minutes of the Chloe Ting if you do this workout every day for two weeks you'll lose fat video super sweaty i don't know if you can see the drips you can't really that's weird there's like one right coming down my eyebrow right there oh you can see it on my neck yeah you can see my neck super sweaty there's some drips back here too from my hairline but <laughs> Super sweaty. It's such a good workout. If you haven't done that specific one, I'll try to remember to link it in the video when I upload this vlog. But I'm going to do a different one today. I'm going to do intense hit workout, burn 200 calories in 10 minutes, which I like when they tell me my calorie burn because it helps me track my fitness and if I'm if I'm doing enough. Cuz for me, like I feel like I feel like some workouts feel like they're a lot, but then you burn like only 100 calories and I'm like so I like knowing how many calories I can burn. Usually it would be super helpful if I had a Fitbit, but the Fitbit that I bought a year ago was like faulty and I never returned it even though I was going to, but I just never got around to it. And then by the time I remembered, it was too late to return it. So yeah, if you have a Fitbit, it's probably easier to track your calorie burn when you do like fitness routines like this instead of just running, but it helps me gauge better if I'm doing an effective workout or not. Like it's not all about the calories, but it helps me understand if it's effective or not. So I'm going to do this one. It's called the intense hit workout, burn 200 calories in 10 minutes. And I'll let you know after if it's good or not. Ooh. I just finished that high intensity hit workout of Chloe Ting's and I have to say that's definitely a lot more similar to when I run the difficulty wise, except not as difficult as a run. It's like, it's like if I was trying to run and I gave up at two kilometers, but I always try to at least get 3K and then push for the 5K if I feel like I can handle it and it's not gonna be overexerting myself. But I am mad sweaty now. I don't know if you can see, I am, I am super sweaty. <laughs> I feel good. I feel like that's definitely a 200 calorie burn. <laughs> Happy about that, or at least I hope it was. She said in the beginning of the video, it can range anywhere from 150 calories. Hey, uh... <sighs> no, no. He loves shredding yoga mats. Good thing this is a cheap yoga mat, but I wanna, like whenever I catch him doing it, I wanna discourage him and tell him it's bad to help train him and not just let him do it. Uh, he loves it though. He loves the texture of shredding yoga mats. But yeah, she said in the beginning of the video, it can range anywhere from 150 to 250 calorie burn. So I think it's totally dependent on your starting weight and um, yeah. So I probably burned around 150, I would say. 150 to 200, definitely not 250, but that was good. So I definitely recommend it. I got a burrito bowl for dinner because of the Uber Eats $50 off, or not $50 off, oh my God, the 50% off promo for Father's Day. So I got this. I'm not even hungry, but like my boyfriend said we should take advantage of this. So I'm just gonna have a little bit and then save it for tomorrow just because 50% off doesn't come often with Uber Eats. Mm -mm. Oh man, this looks so good. I haven't had a burrito bowl in forever. Mm. Today's Instagram photo taking is a photo shoot for my morning coffee. And this guy was trying to lick it. Trying to have a little drink. Mm. So today we went on a walk. It's a beautiful heat wave. Anyway, that's that. In my nice summer fashion, summer dress, taking a little break, enjoying the beautiful weather.
Who sleeps like this? Hello everyone, today is a beautiful day in Toronto. It's supposed to be like 38 degrees and it's Father's Day. So me and the boyfriend are going to go visit the family. Sundays in the city are usually pretty dead because Toronto is very much so like a commuter business city. It's not really that livable, <laughs> you know what phrasing I'm trying to say, but it's not really the most like lived in, especially in the downtown core like in the middle of the city, so you can often find the streets and the core pretty dead on Sundays, especially with COVID-19, a lot of people don't come out, and the fact that it's Father's Day as well, like there's barely anyone. So I came home today and my sister and I had like a few glasses of wine and we're like, let's, yeah, let's try on our old prom dresses from high school. So. 10 years later, I still fit in except for here. But otherwise, I did not expect this. Just an FYI, my prom dress is something I actually hated in high school. This is not my ideal prom dress, but I had to settle on something before it was too late, and this is what I came out with. <laughs> Today, my sister and I are doing a charcuterie board photo shoot and I'm so excited for it because it's so extra and it looks cute. So cute. Literally, this is just a giant roll of canvas my dad's had for years laid out. It's so nice. So we got some pretty awesome photos. I'm so excited. This was such a good idea, even though it's super hot and we're schwitzing out here, but it's worth it.